Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Uh, today I'm just going to do a full-on, long modding tutorial. Just like, cover everything I do with a Bowser mod. And maybe later I'll do a player mod. But those things literally take me like a week doing it 10 hours a day. Even if, because they're just so more, much more complicated. So it would be a lot harder. I'm sure you can probably Facebook message stupid Mario Bros. 1 fan because he's like, you know, better than, me, better than me at this. I mean, I'm more in it for the memes and, and well, I guess you could say I'm, I guess you could say I, I'm quality over, quantity over quality in my mods, which in my opinion is not really that much of a bad thing because you, you get new mods weekly, daily actually, usually. Usually daily, sometimes every other day, that kind of thing. Recently, it's been a while because I have stuff going on. To be honest, it's mostly getting Fortnite challenges done. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah. So, uh, anyway, I'm just going to do a full mod that is actually going to be released on my channel. Just, you know, an everyday life in Super Isaiah. Luckily, this model should not be that tricky to work with, so... It should not. Some of my Bowser mods take a long time, like Ridley. Ridley took a long time to do. But every now and then I'll get a request or see a good... Oh, crap. I just moved. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, that's not good at all. Let's see if we can... Maybe... Oh, uh, no. That's not good. Undo move. There we go. <laughs> Anyway, sorry about that. Um, so yeah, this is basically what I do. This hopefully will end up being what I do for a shorter, more simple mod. <coughs> I can't cut that out. I wish I could, but I'm not going to edit this. Because, well, I just want it to be the full thing. I don't want to edit it. Because I'll just take too long to edit out one sneeze or something uh so this might not be as easy as i thought i haven't even done anything with this model yet it looks like a simple model but i don't know it's 3ds i don't really like working with 3ds usually as you can see it's giovanni from uh pokemon let's just go ahead and oh sorry so as you can see i'm using uh sorry i forgot to mention this earlier i'm using autodesk 2019 2017 and 18 seemed to have a problem with my dot days but uh doesn't seem to anymore so i just get it it's newer and so there might be something better about it i don't know what i haven't really noticed that much of a difference to be honest so let's go ahead and detach this as hair. It'll be a lot easier to work with when it's detached for, you know, bones adding and stuff kind of like that. Uh, we forgot a polygon on the top, so you just undo and we click. May may hairs in the whole open. Yep. Yeah, I should have uh, thought of that. That's probably that makes more sense. Hair. And so now we have the hair and the face, but then we looks like the delete the skin from that one too. Um, it looks like the back of the head also has that. So the back of the head, we're just gonna go ahead and do polygon select for that one. There might be noise in the background, but I can't help that until I get a door. And yes, I don't have a door in my bedroom yet, and it sucks. Let's just grab some polygons. Nope. Yeah, that's about what I want. Say so, grab those polygons. And then this this part right here will be the neck, where the neck bone is. And then we just go ahead and detach this. That looks like it could also be here too. So let's just detach this hair too. Nope, it's not hair. It was red, so I thought it was hair. Um, no, don't delete it. 
How about we name it, uh, rename it to neck. I mean, technically, I could, it doesn't really matter what you name it, so I could keep it, but quality, no. <laughs> yeah, that, that's not. Okay, so depending on the proportions, we might not need to, uh, mess with this too much uh, now like I say in all my video descriptions lots of time I'll use uh, new Super Mario Bros. 1 fans animations for Bowser mods I don't do it for player mods but for Bowser mods I lots of time do just because I mean he already did human he already did a human shape Slenderman so what why not use it I mean why why do it again it might look a little better, but it doesn't seem that that many people even download the Bowser mods that are at least downloaded of all my mods, so I don't really worry as much about quality with these ones. So, just, oh, this is not good. The proportions are completely different. When this happens, let's see if we can fix that. So let's just move them down a little bit, maybe. Okay. So as you can see, our boy Giovanni is... Oh, well. Actually, it is about the same shape. The legs just are nowhere near as long as the problem. I could do this as an over Mario mod. Like, not over Mario, but a, uh, do it as a, uh, Mario shaped Bowser mod. It's always an option. No, not body. It would be head, body, and now we just delete that. That should be, yep. Now we are back to what we had before. So let's go ahead and go file. Oh no, what did I just do? Oh no, what's going on here? There we go. <laughs> I, I told you I'm not that good at this. I'm sorry. Let's just, how do I exit out of this? I don't need this tab. It literally has nothing on it. How do I get rid of it? There we go. Um, let's go import. So let's try doing this with a Mario style template. You can get these from these, uh, I'll show you how to extract models in a second here. When I show you how to import them, it involves extracting them. And I know it's kind of weird to do, but I, I there might be an easier way to do it than I do. I just do it the way I know. Okay, so sadly, I don't know how to drag with this. I'm sure there's a way to drag on the list, so I just hold control and click on all of them. The ones I want to delete. Um, see, now here's the problem we have now: is that Mario is a short boy, and so is Bowser. So usually, when I do it over Mario, the proportions are a lot more off, but the legs are about the right size. Just because, as you can see, the legs are a lot closer to the right size now. You'll notice differences a lot of the time between when I make it over Mario, over Bowser, over Slenderman. Those are the main ones I use, like over the original and over Slenderman and over. So now, as you can see, we can't use the wrist bones because otherwise it'll just look like he's moving that as this whole hand. Uh, so we end up with this. And since I literally 
with these thousand rods, no one downloads them, so I don't really have time to edit animations. I'm sure if I made like a super big Bowser mod, like when I did Ridley, I spent time on that, but for some reason, I'm actually kind of upset about this to be honest. People were more interested in Mario with a Ridley head than they were in actually having Ridley, so I guess it says something about my channel. Uh, people may be more interested in memes on this channel, or at least funny stuff. Um. So yeah, let's just go skin, and then with these ones, usually I just go add, hip, add, leg, 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 well, leg, leg, foot, foot, but it's all part of the leg, spine, uh, we don't need to do neck because, actually we do need to do neck, I'm sorry, um, Mouth, shoulder, mm. the shoulder, I don't know, you know, let's just, let's just mess around with it for a second, again, we can't do wrist, and not having, not being able to do wrist kind of messes up the animation, but it's a lot better than having the, having them be like, partly floating in the air like some of my mods are when I don't know for Slenderman. Yeah, again, you know, quantity over quality with all of them. I think the Joker was the best one I had for an over Slenderman. Uh, so yeah, we have this, and now we go envelope, and we see we have... This is our arm too. We don't want that for our arm too. Our arm one should with these bones, especially like legs and arms, you always stretch it out till the beginning of the next bone. So like just right now, uh, like that. Even though it tries to balance them out evenly. So we do the same thing with this one. And then with the, now we have to do legs. Let's see, okay, so our legs are a lot harder to mess around with, kind of. Mostly just because I suck at this kind of thing. Um, I go like this. So then the next leg one's there. So we can just go till here. Uh, and then we usually would stretch this out a little bit get a little more of the leg. Now it's gone a lot up there, but it's okay. Uh, like I said, like a hundred times, there's definitely a better way to do this than I do. But this is the quickest way, so I do it for Bowser. For when I do an over Bowser, I always do the quick, the quick way. Because, you know, these mods take time anyway. Luckily, this mod should not require anywhere near as much editing as most of mine do. Messing around with stuff. Lots of time, a model just won't work for a random unknown reason. It's not even more polygons, it's just the model specifically. I'll do the same thing with two different models, and one of them just won't work. Sorry about that. I can't edit these. I just, I just don't have time for that. Um, ain't nobody got time for that. Uh, hip. Let's see. So hip it right now is selecting all of his legs, which is definitely not preferred. We don't want hip getting all legs. In fact, for this one, we could just remove hips altogether. We don't need them. Uh, cause, cause as you can see, the legs come up to the spine, almost. So now. We'll actually, I think we will have to have hips, but we'll add them later. If I add hips last, I can just select the part I want, uh, as opposed to weighting every single every single polygon individually, which is what you usually would do for characters. Uh, mostly because Bowser has no limitations, it seems. Uh, the Baldi model I used, although I didn't know it, apparently the Baldi model I used uh, took like. 
I can't remember. It was a lot of polygons, is all I remember. Like, a lot. Like, let's see. I think it was, like, 20,000 polygons. Mario, for reference, Mario can only take, like, 700. So, yeah. I don't think they care about Bowser. They, I don't think they put any limitations on that. The only limitation is how big the eye so I c it can get, I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah, this looks fine, but we're gonna have to add a hip because otherwise, I'll show you right now, when his spine bends down like it will be for like the whole animation of Bowser, it would look like this. See, his butt sticks out. We don't really want it to stick out like that. So we would just, to fix that, we just go, uh, skin, add, hip, select, envelope, and now we go up to where the spine bone is, so about there. Now we may have to adjust it, so lots of time you have to adjust these kind of things, especially with more complicated models than just a simple arm arm leg leg like especially if they have tail that shells like Bowser uh, so let's see there is a point where I just accept it and I don't care but still the hip can go up a little higher than this yeah hip can go up a little higher and a little more uh, in the back I think. Hip envelope. So now we just go like this. Now let's try spine. See, that looks a lot nicer. I mean, it's still pretty ugly, but definitely a lot nicer. Um, now we just add the head and we're good to go. Since this guy doesn't even have a mouth, we can't do a mouth, sadly. Uh, he's just, well, he's just a head with hair and a neck. So now we would just go here, and then with this one, just put all the skin together as one combined skin, like this. Add. I don't want to have to press control because I'm using my other hand for using a microphone. Uh, actually, I'll do it right now just to show. If I were to click control when I'm opening it, it opens all of them. That's just a little shortcut. Control usually means shortcut in 3ds Max for most things. Basically means that you can click things and it's a shorter way to do stuff. Uh, neck, face. Face is what we want. And so hopefully the face bone, unless I saw it wrong, will not make it move. Yep, nope, this is terrible. Yeah, this is terrible. Let's see, so this is uh, what I forgot to change with my Peach mod. That's the problem with doing humans over, Bowser, uh, over Mario over Bowser, is that it looks like this almost all the time. And yeah it just doesn't really look good at all when it, when you when this happens you almost are required to either a take a lot longer and maybe edit animations or b just do what i do and just say screw having face animations because especially with these small heads you don't usually notice you do but you don't it's like whatever Again, quantity over quality, especially with these Bowser mods. It's like, just a lot easier for me to do quantity over quality. So neck would do this if I rotate the neck, but almost always neck doesn't move, usually. Like, that's just general. Uh, but just in case, if you want to make sure that you're safe, you're playing it safe, you can go add, and you can click spine and then you can edit the envelope so 
so that this selects part of the head. Right about there. Let's see. Technically, you could do this. Uh, this is really just backup for to make sure that the head doesn't detach and it just makes the neck look weird. Uh, let's just see really quick how that would look if the neck were to turn. See right now it's grabbing the chin. Which is definitely not preferred. Let's see, um, let's see if I can have it oop. Now I guess what I could do with this is I can just click skin. Crap, my left click's not really working right today make unique and then just get rid of the spine and now let's see what the neck would look like if it were to turn see it's not as bad because like I mean if it bends the neck all the way back but that's unlikely so it would probably look if it were bending its neck like this so yeah and then we just go export this movie this is already getting long like 20 minutes long Export desktop mods new Sumeros new Sumeros V5 Giovanni Test one Sometimes you're gonna have to do a lot more than one test Cover that up before someone pauses the video and sees what I said Okay, fine, I'll tell you. I'm trying to see if Stu and Mario Bros. 1 fan will collaborate with me just for one singular uh, mod and part of the mod pack I'm working on. Uh, unlikely, because he's a lot more popular than me, so usually they don't really want to do that with unpopular YouTubers, but I don't know. I mean, he does talk to people, so you never know. Okay, so let's go with Mario Koopa. So now what we do is we import a uh, model and then we have our test one imported. So now I'll show you how to export the models. You click, or if you're exporting a main one like this, you click export. Same with this one, you click export. And then you save it as a dot day if you're trying to open it in, in, the, in 3ds Max. If you're wanting, if you're, if it's already a mod that you're trying to save in, I just save it as an MDL zero. Again, I may not be doing it right, but it works. Um, and then what you do is just delete this. Basically, that's just converting the dot day to dot M MDL o import existing object because see, it only opens from MDLOs. It doesn't open from dates. Open that. Click replace for the first one is what I do. Unless, well, sometimes you don't have to click replace, but I can't remember when. I, I, it worked for me once, but I just merged all of them. I can't remember exactly when that was. Usually I just click replace for the first one. There's no reason not to, I guess. Then the rest of them I just do merge. Uh, hair. Neck also merge, and then we just have to go through here. And sadly, you can't drag and delete, or well, select multiple and delete them. So I just wait. Can you select multiple? Wait, check. Yeah, you can. Oh, nope. It only got the first one. Never mind. Just click control and delete at the same time and then enter, enter, enter. Control, delete, enter, enter, enter. Press those all really quick until you get rid of all the original models. And then you have what happened to him. See, it's stuff like this where I don't know what happened exactly, but something happened. So, now we have a Giovanni monster. Let's 
we can try to re-import the body as a merge and see if that fixes it. Yep. I don't know what the difference is. Most of the time I just click replace. I don't know what's going on there. Let's see how this looks. Um, something's wrong with the hair and the neck, so neck and the neck and the neck I, I don't even know what's going on this doesn't usually happen it's just I don't know import existing object oh man hair merge I don't know why hair is saved to hip one neck merge no I already did that crap neck merge Let's see I'll just get rid of this one anyway because this was before uh, we imported this one so now this is just like all fresh stuff and so now we go pre no we just go preview just check if the animations are working. Oh no, what happened to his arms? See, I don't even know what happened. I'm confused. Oh no. See guys, I told you I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm not that good at this. Uh, all of the legs work fine. Oh, what did I do that could be destroying the arms? Let's see if I import again will it fix merge okay preview no what's going on so confused yep well what I'll just do is see I may have to fix something on 3ds max um, I was thinking this should just be a tutorial, but the thing, the problem with making tutorials is I can't just like show you how to do it when half the time I don't even know what I'm doing myself. If I were you, I'd just ask uh, New Super uh, Mario Bros. One fan. If you have any questions, I can't handle this. I'm not. I guess I'm just not fit for the job. I don't know what's going on. I don't understand. I'm not good enough at this. Just, I'll just keep. See, now it's working for random unknown reasons. Maybe it's because I added the material in. I don't know. Like I said, I really don't know anything about this. I I do it a lot, but I just I'm not that good at it. I guess. I mean, really, the only reason I'm good, I, I'm actually the only reason I'm actually like popular for doing all this stuff, and it's not really common to do all this stuff, is because it takes a lot of time, and I have a lot of time. So, yeah. I mean, I guess some people have told me I'm good at what I do, and I guess I could agree with them. I don't really know. At this point, I don't know if I'm good or if I'm just lucky enough to be the, one of the few people who actually do it. I mean, I don't know what good in this in this business is, is really. So let's just import the body texture. Import the face texture. Oh, import. If you wanted to make the, all the eyes and mouths change, you could easily you could do it with these. But like, again, quantity over quality. I'd have to pick apart each individual face and put them in. And for again, for characters, you usually do that. But I think those are the only two ones you need. Oh, uh, let's see. 
So for this one, we'd go C, right? No, we'd go back to B. C, I think it is C, let's see. Let's see, is it C? Yes, it's just that this is set to clamp, so we have set to repeat and repeat. That should fix it. Yep, now we have the face and the body, and we just gotta get the hair. Might as well delete these materials. I mean, I don't think they actually affect anything. It might take some game space, like a tiny bit of it, but you might as well just not have them. There's no reason to have them. And there we go. See? It doesn't look that good, but it's a simple showcase of modding, I guess. There's some weird thing on the back. I don't really know what happened there, but whatever. So, yeah, uh, that's about all I do. Then we just go like this. Save. Open our Wii Scuba. Mm, partition 1, object. This will also have... Now I'll make a separate video for that. I was going to say, this could also be the one I make for Giovanni, but no. I'll have a separate video for that one. So where did I... Oh, right, it'd be this one. Select su successfully replaced. Are you sure you want to exit? Now we just make sure it works. Let's uh, go ahead and... Whoa. What just happened? The screen turned black. How long has that happened for? This isn't good, guys. Uh... What's going on here? How long has that happened for? Crap. Probably will have to redo this whole freaking thing. So <sighs> it didn't cut out that much, I guess. Just go ahead. OBS, I don't even know why OBS suddenly randomly Here we go. just seems to, I don't know, black screen, what's going on? <sighs> I mean, this is my custom warp pipe just to get to Bowser to test Bowser mods. Usually when I make new videos, I don't use it except for the last one I did where I just felt too lazy. Like, not lazy, I just, I just didn't want to take the time. See? <laughs> Look how short he is. He's so short. Look how short he is. He's just a, he's just a little man. Hey, little man. Hey, little buddy. He's okay. He just looks so short. And that's not a model problem. It's just because Mario did Mario's body size. Uh, when in the Mario mod, it's about the same. It's just that that's why I put it usually over Slenderman because his proportions make him look a lot bigger. And meaner. Yep. Let's just uh, exit out of this. It's unnecessary. We don't need it anymore. Anyway, I have no idea what's going on right now. Like, seriously? It's not showing what's going on. Anyway, I guess I'll see you on the flip side if this video actually posts. I don't know how much I actually cut out. Oh, man.
you know, I really need to get a record. I mean, OBS is supposed to be a really good recorder, but I need a better one, I guess. Maybe one that costs money.